This accused murderer, Kimberly Kessler, is now being sent to a mental hospital. A judge has ruled she is not competent to stand trial on charges she killed a co-worker, Jolene Cummings. Today marks 416 days since the Nassau County mom was last seen. Kessler remains the only suspect in her disappearance and presumed death. And now that she has been declared not competent, she's being taken to the Florida State Hospital in Chattahoochee for psychiatric treatment. A mother's plea for justice. Will she ever tell us the answers? I don't know. Pray for that. But we're not giving up. We are in a storm, and this storm isn't over with. We don't want this to go 25 years or never at being able to find her. That's my greatest concern. Ann Johnson is keeping her faith that Kimberly Kessler will be able to stand trial and will be found guilty in her daughter Jolene Cummings murder. She will be found competent. I arrest you. She will. She'll be found competent. You got to believe in the judicial system. You know, she may be intelligent. We got a higher power. We got people that are fighting, fighting to and working very diligently for this case. With Kessler being found not competent by the judge Tuesday morning, she will now go to the Florida State Hospital for mental health care. In six months, she will be reevaluated. The goal of Kessler going to the mental health hospital is to restore competency so she can be prosecuted. So again, Johnson is trying to stay positive and hope that eventually Kessler will be found competent when she comes back, of course, from getting that mental health. She also talked to me about the children that Cummings left behind. Three kids, you know, time has gone by, but she said it hasn't gotten any easier on them. And she's really just wanting justice for her daughter. The question now is what happens if Kessler is never found competent? We're going to answer that at 6 o'clock. I'm live from the Nassau County Courthouse, Ashley Spicer, Channel 4 the local station. Ashley, every time Kessler has appeared in court until today, she was wearing a medical mask on her face because we've been told she refused to take the tuberculosis test required of all jail inmates. Did you get any explanation given why she did not have to wear that mask today? I asked today and it appears that she had to take that test um, because she is being sent off to the state prison of court or the state facility. I'm sorry. So that is why she was not wearing a mask today in court. Tom.